For instructions on how to remove your tractor's transmission cover, see our earlier video, Removing the BCS Tractor Transmission Cover. This video pertains to all two-wheel tractors manufactured from 1995 to the present. To make repairs to the internal components of your PTO shaft, you will need the following tools. Needle nose pliers, two pry bars or long flathead screwdrivers, a hammer with a 6mm drift punch, a 17mm socket, and if available, a torque wrench. You will also need a dead blow hammer, a magnet rod, a steel driver or pipe with a 1.5 inch interior diameter, shop grease, and a medium strength thread locker. BCS parts you will need for this repair are a set of special pliers, a PTO spring, and two detent balls. We recommend purchasing an extra set of the small parts whenever attempting a repair requiring the removal of a PTO slider, as the spring is easily damaged and the balls are easily lost. Once removed, secure the transmission cover in your vise with both shafts pointing upward. Use buffers on your vise jaws, such as these pieces of wood lath, in order to prevent damage of the PTO studs. Remove all components above the PTO slider, starting with the gear cluster and the reverse slider. Then, using a 17mm socket, remove the reverse bracket with attached gear and remove the large PTO gear, paying careful attention to the gear's orientation. Use the rod to shift the PTO slider upward into the engaged position, putting the 6mm roll pin securing the L lever to the rod in a vertical position. Drive that pin out with a 6mm drift punch and slide the rod out of the case. Remove the PTO lever and shoe to retrieve the roll pin. These are the only steps needed to either replace the small seal through which the rod passes or to free the external vertical portion of the PTO rod that may be rusted fast in the cast iron receiver. If, however, the problem is that you have power to the tractor's wheels but not to the implement, or that the implement pops out of gear under load, then it will be necessary to remove the PTO slider. To do so, using two pry bars, slowly pry the slider upwards, keeping in mind that the spring-loaded detent balls that secure the PTO slider in both its engaged and disengaged positions will pop out once the slider clears the hole housing the spring. Inspect the condition of both the spring and balls. If the condition of the teeth on the PTO slider and the corresponding teeth on the PTO gear are not excessively worn or damaged, it may be that only the spring and or balls need to be replaced. Note that the gear and slider shown may not look exactly like the ones in your tractor, but they are the current replacement parts and represent an upgrade from the older style. If the PTO slider and gear do need to be replaced, we still suggest installing a new spring and balls. To reassemble the components onto the PTO shaft, you will first reinstall the slider. Insert the spring and then apply a small amount of grease to either the detent balls, the two sides of the shaft, or to the two jaws of the special pliers. Using the grease to stick the balls in place, bring the pliers in through the spot vacated by the PTO rod, compress the pliers, and hold them flush with the outside of the shaft. This is delicate work. It may take several attempts to get everything positioned correctly. Now, lower the slider, positioned as it was during its removal, until it contacts the plier tips. The next step is to deliver a blow that drives the pliers down out of the way to be replaced by the slider. This procedure is most easily accomplished with two people. However, in a pinch, one person can get the job done. Now remove the pliers and apply pressure to the slider until it snaps into its lower position. Then, insert the PTO lever with its shoe in the groove of the slider and insert the PTO rod. Align the hole in the PTO lever with the hole in the horizontal rod and reinstall the roll pin. Use the rod to snap the slider into its higher position and carefully check to make sure that the detent balls have not come free of the shaft. If you find a loose one, you will need to go back a few steps and replace it before proceeding. 
Finally, replace the PTO gear, followed by the reverse gear. Apply a medium strength thread locker to the bracket bolts. Install with the dome of the washers facing up, like so. And tighten to 40 foot pounds. Then replace the reverse gear slider and gear cluster. Check that the inner PTO shaft support bearing is in place and you're ready to reinstall the rear cover. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this video, please call 1-800-543-1040 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.